What is up everybody, Jay Costa here. Today I wanted to talk to you about overcoming fear. More specifically, the fear of cold calling that so many real estate agents have. All right, before you start this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comment section what you think so far. Do you like the content that I'm putting up? What do you like? What do you not like? It'll really help me out going forward as we grow. Let me just say, first and foremost, that cold calling has completely changed my life. Uh, it's given me self-confidence and self-esteem that I never really thought was possible for me to have. As a kid, I was a, 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 bit, of a, a bit of a loner. I was very shy. Uh, my social skills were not great. Uh, just felt awkward in social settings all the time, just was never completely comfortable in my own skin. So I may be the last one that you'd think that would be talking about cold calling right now, but that's why it's changed my life. I hear it all the time from other agents. Oh, I've never cold called, oh, I would never do that, that's so old fashioned. Those are really honestly all just excuses to not put yourself out there. Cold calling will never be outdated because all it is, if you really think about it, is two people talking on the phone. It's talking, it's communication. Communication is a lost art form now, and if you can communicate effectively uh, with clients and even just generally with other people socially, you'll be way ahead. I'd be lying to you if I said that I wasn't super, super nervous when I was just starting out, uh, and it took a long while to get over that, uh, over that fear, but eventually just realize it's, it's just fear that you build up in your head, and you can easily go th get through it. I knew it was very important starting out as a real estate agent to develop these communication skills, as well as very, very important to just overcome this general fear of rejection as a person. So how do you overcome that fear? I have a very simple answer, just do it. You just have to do it, and then do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again. Make it a habit. Uh, consistency and repetition are what pushes you through that fear. Uh, eventually you're just more comfortable. Well, you don't care so much if someone yells at you on the phone or hangs up, you just don't care. Nowadays, I've gotten to the point where uh, because of my communication skills uh, that I learned from cold calling, I almost never feel like I'm ever in an awkward situation in person. Uh, other people may feel that it's awkward, but I just don't, uh, just because I, I simply don't care. It's just human nature, eventually you get comfortable. So what gives you that willpower to give you the consistency to, to overcome that fear? Uh, you gotta figure out what your why is. Why do you wanna achieve what your goals are? Is it to buy a house, to buy a car, to support your family? My why, honestly, was just to improve myself and to just keep growing as a person. Because if you're not growing, you're dying. I truly believe that. In order to grow, you need to make yourself uncomfortable. Being comfortable sucks. It kills motivation, it kills ambition. You need to force yourself, I force myself uh, a lot of the time to put myself in a, an uncomfortable spot or situation as just, it's really just like a test to yourself. And once you get through that test, once you get through that fear, whatever that, that barrier is, you break through it, your self-confidence goes through the roof after that because you know anything in the future that makes you feel, gives you that sense of fear, you know it's there, you can acknowledge it, but you also know that it's just human nature to feel that way and you can just go completely over it. All you'll have to do is just push through to achieve whatever goal you're trying to accomplish. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it useful. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what your big fear is and you know how you overcome it or how you want to overcome it. Until next time, guys.